Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. My beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because it is how I keep up with y'all through the comments as well, Libra. Uh, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd be really appreciative of it if you were to take the extra step and to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Libra, because it does help out this channel a lot. Now I'm reason super appreciative of that. But remember, Libra, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my weekly readings are just here to give you some food for thought for the day, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout the week, but never making this choice in your life, because I believe it's your life to live, Libra, not mine and not these tarot cards. So, darling, now that we have all that said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading, Libra. Let's see where it is you guys are currently at. How are my Libras feeling right now? We have the Nine of Fire, the Nine of Wands. I feel like you guys got this last week as well. Uh, let me know, Libras, in the comments if you uh, watch your last week's reading. Uh, this card says, the, the rather, this card says, don't give up, protect that which you've created, Libra. Uh, have courage and believing in yourself. So uh, when you have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Fire, because Wands is fire energy, Libra, this is a sense of where I feel like you're kind of just like, I'm, I'm, I see someone just like walking up to like a throne and just like taking a seat. Right now I'm like seeing a cat like sitting in a spot. And so I feel like it's just in more so in a sense, Libra, you guys are just claiming the space that you're currently in. Um, it feels like you're getting a little bit more comfortable taking up space in a room rather than exuding too much wallflower energy or this paranoia of sticking out. It feels like you're starting to gravitate towards this idea of sticking out and speaking your opinion and having it be known. Uh, I'm seeing a mouth be covered, but then be uncovered. So maybe for some of you guys, Libras, uh, you are in this sense uh, no longer suppressing your voice, suppressing your opinion um, in some way, suppressing your passions as well. Because keep in mind, Libra, with the wands, wands is pa uh, fire energy and it's all talking about passions, right? Maybe you're just in this sense uh, standing proud in uh, what it is that you're doing, your creative pursuits, right? So let's get a little bit more detail on this, Libra. Let's see what's going on here with this line of wands. Let's see. Coming forward, we have the world card coming to you in the upright. Interesting. We have the four of swords in the reverse for you. Okay, Libra. We have the two of three of wands in the reverse, not the two of wands. And then we have the high priestess in the reverse for you, Libra. So, Libra. I'm getting this strong sense here. Um, did I say that the Four Sword was in the reverse, by the way? This is not actually inverted for you. Um, just the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. Uh, but what I'm getting from this right off the bat, Libra, is this sense of you're finally healing a cycle. But then, like, yeah, there's some cycle that you're putting to a close, some cycle that you're finally healing that you... Um, it just feels like you got a little bit... You uh, are at peace with it, right? But then we have this interesting energy with the Three of Wands High Priestess cards in the reverse. But getting ahead of myself, Libra, let's start breaking down with this world card. The world card is always just the representation, Libra, of uh, cycles. We're talking about cycles here, cycles coming to, like, you know, with this situation here, it feels like this is where you, I get the strong sense, Libra, that you are closing out some type of uh, side cycle uh in your life that you know maybe wasn't the biggest distraction in your life but um whatever happened here whatever closure happened here libra i get the sense that this is part of the reason why you're starting to be more in this nine of wands energy this nine of fire energy because you uh this closure here either allowed you to just get a better sense of self maybe you healed a little bit because of the situation you know i just feel like this is almost like a shackles being like part of the reason why you feel okay no longer suppressing your voice or part of the reason as to why you feel okay with taking up more space claiming the space that you 
are in, feeling more comfortable just with yourself and just the quirks that you have, Libra. I do feel like you're just a sense of more so of um, inhibitions. Your inhibitions are starting to go down a little bit more. With this Three of Wands in the reverse here, this is showing, this is showing to me, now that I'm seeing this, um, I feel like something tried to come back in, Libra. And I know from your last week's reading, uh, I think I titled, titled it something along the lines of uh, Jealous Eyes Are Watching or Eyes Are Watching You, Libra. And I know you were served with temptation um, of going back into an old cycle, going back into an old habit for a lot of you Libras. And so with this Three of Wands here in the reverse, I actually like to see this because it's showing to me that... Um, I kind of feel like it's associated with this world card in the Four of Swords, uh, to be honest, Libra, where it's like you have the potential of where it's like this old cycle that maybe never was completely finished or it's been at a standstill for a while. It feels like there is an opportunity to put energy into this, right? <clears throat> with the Three of Wands, that's always the card of breadcrumbs, right? Um, and being shown signs of a potential path to take, a uh, potential avenue to go into. And then because it's in the reverse, I feel like you denied it. But, uh, Libra, with this High Priestess card in the reverse, uh, this is showing to me, I mean, it could potentially be this sense, Libra, of where you're not quite sure if it was the right decision. Or maybe, let's just, you know what, honey, let's just continue pulling some cards before we get too crazy, darling. So we have the Strength card coming in under your World card. Okay. We have the Star card coming in for you, Libra. Um, also my earring, honey. I'm always going to just point it out while I'm wearing this earring. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups coming in here. In the, all in the upright so far. Take note. And then we have the Seven of Swords in the upright for you. And this is under your High Priestess in the reverse. So this is... I mean, not that I was getting heavy energy before Libra, but this is kind of an unexpected plot twist where it's like really affirming the message from before what I was feeling of where... Because you got some closure to a situation, because you got to have some healing to this cycle that just really gave you this sense of now you wanted to stand out even more proud and break out and be noticed even more, Libra. Um, very much so, the strength card coming in here, because this is under your world card, this could be in two ways, Libra. I could be translating this in a way of where it is extremely hard, uh, an extremely hard decision for you to make to no longer have this cycle be part of your life anymore um definitely could be the case just because of that high priestess in the reverse from before i'm noticing but this also could just be in a case of where you know you guys finally d completed a portion of whatever shadow work that you were working on Libra. so what i mean by shadow work it's usually just addressing like those past traumatic traumatic experiences that you've developed uh, bad habits from in ways that you will just act because of traumatic events and so with this dynamic here i feel like um truthfully especially because the world card is next to your four of swords um that's healing right and then you have the star card under your four of swords energy so and the double emphasis on healing because the star does add um an amplifier what am i trying to say libra it uh emphasizes the message even more so for just like a healing and just very much so like a cleansing experience as well but also with the star card this is almost like again through this sense of a weight being lifted off of your shoulders through just again some type of healing i feel because of something that you finally were able to claim your power back to into perhaps libra I do see uh, you now actively going further and reaching out to your star. It feels like the things that were weighing you down that made it hard for you, uh, Libra, before, in whatever way, uh, now, it just you, you feel a lot lighter, I feel, now reaching out to the star. Um, and then we go into this Ace of Cups coming in here. This is under your Three of Wands energy uh, in the reverse. So this is showing to me that you're more so just interested in opening up to new energies, Libra. This is confirming to me as to why you guys were, you rejected this old cycle and just kind of closed it off and put a bow on it and sent it off. Um, because it's showing to me, Libra, you're just only interested in new energies. You're not interested in going back at all, which is good. I want, I really want to have you as this affirmation. But I still feel you are in your head, 
a little bit Libra, if I'm going to be honest here. Because with the Seven of Swords coming in here under your High Priestess card in the reverse, uh, this shows to me where it's almost just like, I mean, maybe there's like a slight temptation of engaging like a red flag, right? I do feel like there is a little bit of a slight temptation, but truly Libra, take this as a sign that you um you made the right decision absolutely with how these cards are coming out for you come on now libra so how is this going to pan out for this week for libra right you guys are in this place right this progressive place i see it to be extremely positive for you libra how does this how does the rest of this pan out for this storyline we have the four of cups coming in here okay we have the seven of cups in the reverse and then we have the Queen of Cups coming in the upright. So Libra, it does feel like you just have a better... I like this a lot, actually, because with this Four of Cups here, I was initially just like, ooh, like, are you going to be missing out on something just because you're distracted with dealing with this energy, right? Are you going to be trying to supplement for something now that you, you know, what have you? But with this Seven of Cups in the reverse, this is showing to me that you are just getting extremely, just more comfortable, especially with the Queen of Cups as well in the upright. You're getting a lot more comfortable. All this, all the, you top all this passionate energy off with more emotions, right? The Star card represents emotional healing as well. So this is a huge, hugely an emotional healing week for you, Libra. Um, and because of this emotional healing, it just feels as if like you're, oops, I hit my tripod, my bed. It feels as if like your vision is set clear on your goals now and like what it is you're trying to accomplish, where it is you're trying to go in your life right now, Libra, and all of that jazz. So that's beautiful to see, right? We have the Ace of Swords coming in the reverse with the Star card. So Libra, do be aware, pay attention to your thoughts. I do feel like at this time, you guys are, for some reason, it may not even be related to the situation that I'm tapping into, Libra, but I do feel like you, there's a calling for a lot of you Libras to honor your thoughts more, pay attention to your ideas, engage with those ideas further, right? Because the Ace of Swords in the reverse is showing to me, don't mind my cat, dealing with her litter box, doing her business, darling. Um, but with this Ace of Swords in the reverse, this is an energy of where you're ignoring uh, these creative ideas or you're doubting these creative ideas and not really, at the very least, you're not going forward towards it. And so when you have this paired with the star card, um, it's directly linked to like you, you and honoring these ideas, you honoring your thoughts is directly linked to you following through with your path. Um, so definitely consider that, uh, Libra, pay attention to your thoughts this week, for sure, for sure. So, final card coming in here, King of Wands. My cat's being crazy now. Uh, so with this King of Wands here, this is just closing out this energy for the spread, Libra, of where the best thing that you can do at this time is really just take an affirmative role. Uh, don't be so passive, Libra. Um, even if you feel like you're not being passive, uh, Libra, see if you can challenge yourself even more to just make yourself more seen, more pronounced, right? Be in people's faces. Be shamelessly in people's faces. Not Obviously not physically, darling. But um, I feel like it's important for you to be seen, Libra. And I feel like this is kind of reflective of your last week's reading as well. So definitely I feel like that's going to be the major priority for you, Libra, is take your emotional healing that you're going to be experiencing and allow this to ignite whatever flame that we have going on for you, that whatever that passion is that you want to um, continue living in, continue thriving in, right, Libra? So now let's start getting into my Libra's, uh, yeah, we're going to get into now my Libra's love and social situations, their relationships this week, because Libra, keep in mind, we have more than just uh, romantic relationships, we have platonic friendships, family, work relationships, all that jazz, right? You know the deal. So we're going to check into that and see what's going on there for you, Libra. 
have the chariot card. This is a beautiful card to have. Seven of seven is your number this week, Libra. We'll write that down for numerology, as well as if you're open to connecting with Archangels, Archangel Metatron is the one to connect with this week. Uh, this card says, though, Libra, uh, important, uh, achieve, an important achievement, self-discipline, and willpower and public recognition. Notice how I was just saying before, Libra, I was saying in your general portion that I feel like it's important for you <laughs> to be seen at this time. And I feel like you even know that you need to be seen at this time. The spotlight's on you. I always say the chariot card is like your uh, spiritual, like Uber, a spiritual Uber being sent your way, Libra. Um, and it's up to you to get into that chariot and to can you continue going down this path, answering this call. And you're absolutely on the right path, Libra. You have an idea of what it is you're wanting to do, what it is you're trying to do. Um, it is, you know what? Let me get some clarifiers on this. Let me. Because, you know, what kind of interaction with this uh, Metatron chariot energy? What does this look like? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Queen of Swords upright. And then the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Libra, Libra, Libra. So the biggest thing I can tell you this week is definitely... Um, I feel like you were told this before, Libra, in your reading. Just start. I feel like it's a little important for you, Libra, to be a little bit more vulnerable. Um, with this dynamic here, this is letting me know that it's like you have a lot of good energy coming to you, a lot of intentional energy, a lot of energies that are new energies that we talked about that you're craving with that Ace of Cups. Um, it's coming, but the situation is here where you know, when the, you guys are passing by, for some reason, your guard is up. And apparently Tulip has an opinion to say about it as well. Um, your guard is up, or it just feels like as if people are not, like when they walk by you, they're not gonna consider engaging with you. Um, and so I do feel like there's this sense, Libra, of, um, you know, I know we talked about how in your general portion, there's some closure, some healing that you experienced, Libra, but I do get this sense that um, it's because of that past situation, Five of Swords, yeah, it's because of some past situation, I feel like you have some trust issues, and um, just in general, darling, but who doesn't, I mean, on some level, I feel like everyone can have trust issues on some level, but it does feel as if right now, Libra, you're presenting more of a tough uh, exterior when you could be it's okay and it's more so spirit trying to say it's like it's okay Libra to be a little bit soft it's okay to present your softness just a little bit darling it's okay so uh yeah we'll take that message as it is for you now let's get into my Libras and their financial and career situation what's going on for my Libras and their financial this week okay these two cards wanted to come out so we have Archangel Camwell, number 16, number 7. Keep note, Libra, we'll definitely write down the number 7 for you. It's following you. Uh, with the Three of Fire, the Three of Wands. So the Life Experience card, Archangel Camwell. Same old deal as well, by the way. Just like Metatron, uh, Camwell is the one reaching out to you. Camwell is actually, uh, funnily enough, the Archangel I most intimately connect with. I say intimately and just in a way of like, I've worked with him the most. Um, sign uh, Archangel Camwell says, darling, Reading this card, <laughs> a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change and time to spread your wings. Very similar to that, um, what was it? The, your nine of wands energy, right? Your, right? Your nine of fire energy. And then continuing on through your fire, through your wands, uh, this card says abundance. Things are looking very good. Have patience at this time and making long-term plans. Um, you guys are definitely just looking forward. And in all aspects and this is really reminiscent of your general portion as well libra in the sense that um you guys are just only interested in new energies seven of wands came into the reverse for you uh coming in here you know, libra i do get this strong sense i feel like this is just like another like trying to hone in on the same message libra of really just making like Regardless of where, what facet of your life you're putting a lot of your energy into, whether it's your work, whether it's your, you know, whatever, honey, I feel like it's really important for you to present more vulnerable, uh, present more vulnerability in yourself uh, to the world. I feel like that's just really key for you. All right, this card's coming out. These want to come out as well. 
So we have the Six of Wands, the Seven of Swords coming out, the Judgment card, as well as the King of Cups coming in here. So Libra, this is a beautiful week in terms of your finances, in terms of your career. Notice with this Judgment card, this is all about action. You had this card last week as well, Libra. All about the action. So you still need to be taking action, take active steps um, in your career path. Seven of Swords comes in with this... Uh, king of cups i do get the sense though um you have to like your biggest issue will be like your emotions right and i say issues is like emotional distractions letting your emotions get the best of you and consume you right and then ending up being a distraction into your work environment right so just be aware of that right uh catch yourself in the spiral before it gets too bad if you spiral honey and so as well, Six of Wands, so beautiful card. It's another spotlight card. So two different cards talking, you know, really, if you are in the public spotlight or trying to, Libra, this is very, very affirming cards. I do feel like you're going to be noticed more this week. Just in general, people are like paying attention to you at this time. I just feel like now, uh, Libra, you know, it's just like people are paying attention. So be, be noticed, right? Uh, take up sp more space in the room. This is such a beautiful time, even for work. I feel like collaborations, collaborations are definitely in your future, Libra. I feel like there's people in your life that could definitely play a pivotal role in terms of your finances in your career. So yeah, take that as you will, Libra. But those are the cards that I have for you this week, the tarot cards. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them my video video and maybe we'll find a message that resonates with them i do weekly well yeah i do weekly readings darling for all of them but i do if you would like to per book a personal reading with me libra i have my website down below simply velka all my social medias instagram tiktok twitter facebook simply velka darling and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future i love you so much libra